Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. I'm going to do a bag with you. Um, you can see it's all over the place here. There's still a little bit in the bag. I haven't really looked at it, but what happened is somehow the top of the bag was missing and everything fell out. So I just grabbed it and brought it over here and set it on the table. So there's not a real lot um, here in the bag. So I want to try to get this done um, as quickly as possible to add a, a, a short video for you guys to watch. And um, let's get started. Again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell if you would like to be informed when I upload a new video. Okay, our first item is this necklace. It's a three fur, I think, down at the bottom. It's very pretty. Um, it's lightweight. It has nice accent pieces on it. Nice dangles. Now, it does have um, the uh, ribbon that's on here, and where you see it's bent, it was tied there. I undid it so that I could straighten out the necklace. Um, it's very pretty. It has two large jump rings on here that you could actually take and remove the ribbon if you wanted to and put a small piece of chain on it. It's in beautiful condition. It's very, very pretty and um, it's very clean. Um, there's no dirt or anything on it. It doesn't stink. It's, it's, it's great. So, very pretty cobalt blue color. Alright, let's put that over. Just move this a little bit and put this over to the side. Next we have a really cute little um, cat eye necklace in cobalt and this has a barrel clasp. You can see all the, um, the, um, the cat eyes. They're moving around in there. In between here these are glass um, beads. They're bugle beads and these happen to be twisted bugle beads. So they have um, a lot of, um, like when you, when you move this there's a lot of um, light that will reflect off of these. And your your beads are gold tone and your barrel clasp is gold tone. Very pretty little necklace. And this is what it looks like. There's those cat eyes moving around. Okay, two down. Now in the last video we had a necklace similar to this. At the accent beads, and this is the same thing. It's a little loose so that you can um, wear this comfortably. Um, this has blue beads instead of the coral color beads. The last one, if you remember, had the coral color beads. It has the same um, tassel, and this has the blue. has the same um, rondelles with the rhinestones in it. This cute little thing here with the... Um, uh, this is a rope chain, and it's long. There you go again, your accent beads. These would be nice if they were probably worn together. They would look nice. So anyway, there we have that. This is very long, okay? And, um, hang on. To my right is Will County Coroner, Carl Blesch. To my immediate right is Detective Dave Baumover from the Frederick Police Department. Okay, I had to shut the TV off. So anyway, um, let me give you a close-up of this so you can see how pretty it is. The pearls are in beautiful, 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 shiny condition. Okay, moving on. Now this is just a plastic set of mint green pearls. It's very long. Very, very, very long. It's probably, I would say, 36 inches at least. You could probably double, um, double probably triple this around your neck. This is four times. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's pure costume. The beads are plastic. It's in great shape. The color is really pretty. Um, so I know a lot of the ladies like different color pearls. And um, these are pretty. So let me show you these close up. They're going to fall out of my hand. I know it. So 
They make a lot of noise for being plastic. They do have some weight to them, but they're not glass. I mean, they're just, just a pretty pure costume jewelry pearls. Okay, let's put those over there. Now we have a statement necklace. Let me see if we can get this untangled. This is different. Um, let me see here. There we go. Okay. This is a beautiful color. Um, it has a lobster claw with an extender, which is very long, and a bead on the extender. This is made, well, it is acrylic. Um, I think these ones here might be glass. They're pretty cold. It's definitely a difference. Um, it's put together really well. The color is just, it's a real, real true turquoise color. It's very, very pretty. And, um... Let's see how long, to give you an idea how long this is. Um, uh, it's going to hang down uh, probably 20 inches. Let me show you how clean and nice this is. This, this is not a cheap one. Um, it's made really well. It's got some weight to it. All the acrylic beads are all faceted. It's very pretty. Really, really nice. It has a mesh in the back that everything is hung from. Really put together well. Okay. Next we have just a little plain old um, acrylic bracelet. This would be good for the kids to play dress up. little flowers. It's actually kind of pretty, but it's all, it's plastic, and it's very lightweight. Our next bracelet, I think these are shell, and these are also in a turquoise color, dyed, dyed, and these are pretty. There you go. Condition is great. All right. Okay, this is a nice little bracelet. It's um, it's a stretch. It's like an antique um, brass with green or turquoise. It's lightweight, but it's you know it's a nice little bracelet. Okay. Now we have a piece here that what a shame. Um, there's no way I can fix this. It's a real shame because um, it's so pretty. Um, it can be repurposed. Um, and I think this is Crown Shafari, believe it or not. Yes. Um, you can take this. What happened is one of the hooks came off on there. It's, it's broken. These are glass. Well, this, yeah, this one I think is glass. But this is a real shame. But it's worth it just for the chain if somebody would like to have the chain. And you could take this if you really wanted to um, and cut these bottom ones off and just use this piece. And um, you would just take a little bit of a filer if you cut them off and smooth it down. And this... Um, you can take this and, and actually put a pin back on it and make a very nice um, pin. All the rhinestones are there. The chain is gorgeous. Typical quality of um, the Crown Shafari. It's really a nice chain, a lot of sparkle to it. So, anyway, if anybody's interested in this, let me know. Okay, we have a brand new watch here, and this is, um, let me see, all the rhinestones are there. This hasn't been used. This is another Strata watch, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's what it says on the band, I think. Wait a minute, yes, Strata. Um, let me show you the face. 
It's got a lot going on on the face. I don't know if you can see it. You can see that the um, the, the thing hasn't been pulled. Um, it's green croc, you know, artificial green croc. This would be a nice watch to wear around the holidays. But the face is like really got a lot of um, um, a lot of lot going on in the face. There's no numbers. It's, you can see all that sparkle in there. It's 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 a pretty watch. So I figure I show you this. And um, there you go. There's a very good picture of it. All right, we have another one. Let me see this one. This one is Lane Bryant. This one is not working, but all the rhinestones are there. This is sort of a lime green um, artificial croc. It's pretty. It's in great shape. It says the Lane Bryan on the back. Pretty watch. All right, let me see what else I got around here. Okay, now this is a memory wire bracelet. Now, I don't know if, if this is... Somebody took these, these um, vintage beat. Hang on, please. Damn robocallers. Anyway, I don't know if this is old itself or if somebody took these gorgeous vintage beads with these beautiful, beautiful Tavorsky crystals and put this together because this is absolutely a gorgeous little memory wire bracelet. It has a dangle on each side. Um, the pearls are... Um, ivory and you've got um, like a medium green but very muted green so this is a very nice bracelet all right now the one I have here this is a heavy duty bracelet I'm trying to see if this has a name on it somewhere this is a this is a stretch but it's a really well made stretch bracelet it's got weight the beads here are um, like a, a gray blue, really beautiful. And um, it's got this great dangle. I don't see nothing written on this anywhere, but this is a, a really nice, really, really super nice bracelet. And it's quality. When you put it in your hand, you can tell that it's a good, well made bracelet. Look how pretty those beads are. So, okay, we have that. Now I have this funky, funky ring. I don't see a signature on it anywhere. Um, let me see what the size is. It's at an eight. All right, now, it has this stone in the middle there. Um, I'm sure it's acrylic, but look at the shaft on this the work the enameling work that's done on this i mean it's a costume ring but my goodness gracious this is a beautiful ring I'll take this off of here and hold it in my hand give you a better idea of it's almost like that's a flower and that's the center of the flower it's so pretty. Great condition. Great condition. Okay. Let's get the rest out of the bag. See what we have in here. Uh, maybe the best is yet to come. Who knows? Okay. All right. I have a Brighton Bangle. New with tags. Um, let me show this to you. This is really pretty. And it says, imagine, create, inspire, live. There's your little bright and heart. And 
and um, it's got stations around it. And there's your Brighton tag, brand new. So, very cute little Brighton bracelet. All right, oh, this is pretty. I don't know if there's a maker on this or not. Let me peek at this tag. How may be quiet. Stop causing trouble. This is an Avon necklace. This is sweet. Okay, this is like a herringbone chain. And it drops down to this beautiful little thing here with a, um, almost looks like a sapphire colored stone and it has crystals alongside of it. It's signed Avon on the, um, on the, on the, the, this part right here. It's got a spring ring clasp. This is very pretty. Very, very pretty Avon necklace. Okay, let's put that right there. We have, um, this has got a barrel. It's a hematite necklace. And it has a heart. And those are cat eye. Those are lime green cat eyes. It's very pretty. Um, I don't think it's magnetic because nothing's stuck to it. Let me show you a little close-up close picture. The beads are barrel beads. Very pretty. Brand new, nice and clean. No scratches, no nothing. Okay, let me put this over here. Now we have a glass um, stretch bracelet. This is very pretty. This is also not quite a lime green, but it has three pearls um, on the bracelet. They're all glass and um, has the rhinestone rondelles. And uh, it's very comfortable to wear and the stretch is excellent. So this is a very pretty little necklace. I mean, excuse me, bracelet. I'm losing it. And it's got sparkle to it when the light hits it. Clean. You can see that the the string inside is white. It's not been worn. Okay. Now, let's see what this is. What this baby is here. Um, this is a shell necklace. It's on a nice chain, and um, it's cobalt. It's kind of like a snake chain. There's glass beads. Um, it's not bad. There's one bead missing here. I'll check and see if it's in, in here. If it's not, I'll just remove that pin. So and the, it'll be priced accordingly, but it's pretty. Nice shape on this, a nice color on the, on the, um, the shell and it makes a lot of noise when you wear it so because you got the metal clanging against the um, shell okay let's see here we have we got a nice piece of cloisonne here I don't know if this opens up or not I don't think so maybe it does looks like it does something I'll have, no, I don't think it opens. Oh, this is pretty. It's, um, it's only on a, a satin cord. I would take this off and put this on a really nice gold necklace. I have to examine this a little bit more to see what this little knob does down on the bottom. There's a little knob that moves. Unless it's just the thing that this is hooked up into to hang from the necklace. But a very nice piece of cloisonne. Okay, now we got one of these nightmare necklaces. Let's try to get this one first, see if we can do this first. Now, of course, it's tangled up in the damn thing here. Um, it's frustrating. Hang on. Okay, we're straightened out. This is actually pretty nice, not bad. Um, glass beads, shell. The shell on this is very highly polished. Um, I didn't get it totally um, to where it's laying completely right. There is a couple little minor little 
kinks like right there but you know sometimes with uh, your fingernail you can straighten that right out but these are really pretty pretty shell pieces I mean some of them actually look like little mirrors so I call these the pain in the butt necklaces they screw up the whole works when you're trying to do jewelry so these should be hung inside of your jewelry box you just don't want to throw them in so that they they don't play well with your other jewelry okay let me lay this down now this is a very nice acrylic um, necklace and I think this is just over the head uh, a lot of articulation very pretty green um, gold tone findings balls they're like filigree balls it's costume it's lightweight but it puts look at when I move it how much shine it turns around and it puts off it's very pretty very pretty colors on this okay now we have a um I think this is I don't know I can't tell sometimes it drives me crazy and I ain't putting anything in my mouth this I would say is a choker and I would I'll go with it as being plastic um, acrylic but there's different degrees of blues on here and it's got a lot of shine and shimmer to it so it's pretty all right I have a couple of rings that I'm going to show you and uh, I'm going to see if I can put these on my finger there's some interesting rings here let me see if there's another one. Oh, I just lost one okay all right this one here is a little enamel ring I have to look inside to see if it's signed anything I will measure each one of these Oh, hang on a second. Well, one of the rings fell down in the black hole at my feet here. So, I'm going to have to try to find that for later. But, um, this is oh, one of the real pretty, pretty, pretty ones. Anyway, this here is a seven and three quarters. They have this peacock stone on them okay it's very pretty oh I'm mad about that ring falling down like that and this one here um, this is real costume um, this is just at eight but it's got that cushion cut purple stone in it it's got a nice band okay and then we have this one. Oh, the other one that fell was so beautiful. All right, this is another costume piece. And this one has got that same purple stone. And it's very pretty. And this is eight and a half. All right, let me just give you a size on the um, enamel one. Um, I think I might have done that. This is just a hair over seven and uh, this is very pretty there you go it's gold okay okay here's the last ring and this is an eight again it's got that peacock color and it has two stones that go on top of the uh, thing. There's your band. It's costume, but it's brand new costume, so pretty stone. All right. For now, that's it. That's the end of this bag, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe there's something in here you might like. And uh, I saw a couple things that I thought was pretty nice. So, anyway, maybe soon it'll stop raining in New York. We're supposed to be getting um, a lot of rain 
tomorrow, but unfortunately our weather has turned colder and they're possibly predicting some snow. So uh, I'm not looking forward to that yet, but uh, ain't nothing you can do about it. So you just got to go with the flow. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great day, a good evening, and a good night, and I will be in touch with you soon. Take care, everyone, and thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Bye-bye for now.